Zers. It's a good character. Three it's a, Zers. Definitely a. It seems like it's a fallback comfort pick for a lot of people. Um, I know personally, every time I try and lab somebody else, and then I get frustrated, I go back to Zetter. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see, I've never, I've never really known that because I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a character specialist. I basically only play Atlas and oh. never anyone else. So, um, can't say I vibe with it, or it's... can't say I agree with it, but I vibe with it. You know, sometimes you, you, you try different things, and you're just like, ah, fuck it, just, just play the character I like. <laughs> yeah, a lot of, I mean, it's fast, good fundies. So, yep. this will be a fun one. We'll see. Uh, I'm. Yeah, I'm glad I, I'm I'm wondering um, who's going to be the more fun these base setter and who's going to mash more because whenever there's a setter ditto, one player always does does one and another the other player does the other. There's no in between. So for sure, we're gonna start forest floor here, game one. Yep. And this is loser. So loser goes home. Yep. Okay. Up. Uh, up. Up. Okay. Okay. Easy right, twelve. I, I, I like I like the respect there. Um, you know, sometimes there's controller issues. You just figure it out and you keep going. For sure, we can get it right back so, here. Yeah, Ooh. we're already seeing. I like that. I like that pair from Miko, even if it didn't work. Uh, I'm, we were already seeing a lot of fireballs there. Um, this is going to be a very like about a three quarters of the stage range matchup. I would say in the neutral. I feel like both players are going to try to. Stick to that range, get the optimum fireball distance, and try to win neutral from there. Um, yeah, I'm seeing the, uh, so I'm seeing Kitten do kind of the classic. Um, I don't want to say beginner Zetter. Nice, good recovery there. Beginner Zetter of like catch him on fire at 60 and then just go for the forward smash in neutral. Yeah. Because uh, we saw a couple whiffs there. We're seeing Miko play a little bit more of a balanced game. Oh my gosh, caught him with the up smash. Holy yeah. cow. All right. Yeah, Miko, Miko had shown early on that they really like using the up smash. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, we caught him there. Not gonna, not gonna kill though. Miss. Okay. All right. Good mid-range play from Miko. You know, just yeah. Pepper. Really, no one with the pepper really, in the fire. I really like that full hop double jump into uh, into the fair. That was very smart. Ooh, caught his, uh, caught their double jump. No. Okay. We're coming you back. Can wall -tech that. No pressure from Miko. Coming back for free. Yep. You know, sometimes you, you get your edge guard and you think, all right. Yeah, like I did it. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know. Hopefully they die from this and oh. then they don't. Ooh. Ooh. No. Good DI. Very good Super DI. Super good DI. Diang straight to the left. Oh. Oh, no. Why did that smash there. in there? That was an up smash. All right. You got the, the, I mean, the the fundamental is there. But uh, yes. Kitten on the last stock now. Trying to put away this first stock of Miko. 150 yes. Zatter. I, I think Miko has has shown pretty handedly that they're much more prepared in the neutral game for this um, this ditto than than Kitten is, and it's showing because Miko ha has the you know previously the two stock lead, but Kitten was able to make it back, and now they're getting a bit of momentum. Hopefully, they can keep it up and keep this game competitive. Good parry. Okay, getting a little comfortable yes. with uh, predicting the F smashes there from Kitten. Miko is able to yep. prepare. Good strength. Okay, I I, I like it. Good, good, good patience, good patience. Both players shown that they both like going to that platform when they're up, uh, when they're recovering. So, Ooh. Oh God. are we living? Do something that covers both. Yep. Yep. Waiting. Went to the well. Went to the well again, and he got caught again. All right, that is game one for Miko. After the uh, the five second head start there. Yes. Oh, back to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was bound to be one of those. No one saw that. No one saw that? Got to no switch the transition a little faster. Okay. We were doing good up to that point. All right. We're going to uh, game two. We're going to do Blazing Hideout. Kitten's pick. Um, it's going to be an interesting one because we were seeing some recovery struggle with Kitten. Yeah. And uh, this one's going to be a little unforgiving. So we're going to see what there's happens. No, there's, more pla there's no platform to go to, really. You exactly. Have to super, you have to go really high. You got to go so high. You want to go to the Blazing Hideout hideout platform so oh yeah you got distance to cover if you're trying to get yeah. there i don't know i think we're gonna well you know something that we saw kitten do a lot is uh trying to do the was it the down special the, the kind of dive recover but we saw good spacing from miko to punish that so we're gonna see what happens yes. here we're going to game two all right jump fireball yep the classic zone. i thought both of them were gonna do that um i was half right i've seen I, we saw so many fireball clinks game yep. one i mean that's what you gotta that's what you gotta do like 
If oh. you don't do it, then the other Zedder's going to. And now do we okay. see uh, Easy Punish here? And yeah. kit, Kitten again. First thing they do, first recovery, they go back to that well before, even though they're getting punished in game one, they keep trying to go for that top platform. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit of a comfort fireball. kind of player habit there, trying to get the high ground. Yep. I personally don't like that, but... So, oh, couldn't oh, get there, Oh, no, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately. They, I think they, they accidentally wall jumped when they wanted to juggle, double jump. That's never fun when that happens. Yep. But... That's frustrating. And now, that mentality going into the rest of this game, though, you know, you gotta think yes. about that. Yeah. You just gotta forget it. You know what? You just lost that stock. No big deal. Yep. Keep playing the game. Yeah. Getting Miko up to, uh, we're getting to 70. It's really not, I would say it's almost even. We just, we're kind of one fair one. Oh, we're really trying for that forward smash, though. Yeah. The, the, depend, depending on the, the punish game of Kitten that we have not seen yet, I don't think. It could be an even game, but it all really depends on how the Kitten's able to clinch out socks. Yeah, seeing Mika recover with the uh, the down special and no punish there. Unfortunate. Trying to up smash the platform, not gonna hit there. Oh, good yep. catch. Ooh, funky DI there. I would I would have DI'd that bad too. Um, okay. Right. Oh. Hey, they they didn't go for the platform this time. It's true. Right. They went in. Yeah, they went down. Yeah, they went down. I think I've seen a kitten do a lot of like 45 degree angle recoveries. Um, and I think there's a lot more with. Uh, Zedder's angles that Kitten could really do. Uh, but they're able to clinch out that stock with a lot of room to, uh, or a lot of ground to make up here. You know, 130, Miko could take this, uh, the second stock at any time. So hopefully, you know, Kitten's able to get that big advantage seat that they need to really, uh, really make up the difference. Yeah, Kitten's catching with, uh, catching Miko with a couple good strings here. It, it really has become an even. A Kitten living to 160 though that probably that probably shouldn't happen but yeah I I'm not too sure I'm not I'm pretty sure that Zedder doesn't really have much of it never mind they're dead but yep. I'm about to say they're they don't Zedder doesn't really have much of a problem with a Goldilocks percent where you just they're so they have such a high percent you just can't kill them unless you hit them with something random in the neutral that's like crag um, <laughs> for sure yeah okay yeah a couple more Twenty more percent on Miko and catch them, catch them with the right thing, and yep. we're catching with these down specials. It's very surprising. Yes, a Five. lot of down specials in this matchup. Um, we're all it's just, you know, at this at this level, it's just easy to do. Like, it's just I want to, I want to get to the ground as soon as possible. Yep. I want to land. Get me back on this stage. No punish um. from Miko there. Yeah. The yeah, down special okay, platform seems to be working. I mean, see, no punish yeah. walking away. I, I wish I, I wish I was seeing a little bit more platform play from from Kitten. It feels like they're they they really they they show that they really want to go to that top plat, but they don't really make a lot of use of it. Like only to, only like of course the second I start talking about it, they go right to the plat. Okay. And this is the Kitten counterpick too. So. Yes. Parry. Walk into the fire. Okay. I like I like the I like the defensiveness here from Kitten. They're kind of trying to play it safe, not make too many risks here, especially because they're 160 with a fire. But you know the clap, you, you, you wave land onto that platform, you immediately drop down with an aerial. It will work at every level of play. Classic, old yeah. reliable on on this <laughs> stage. Old reliable for sure. Yeah, that's another game for Miko. With the yes. kitten counter pick, yeah, it's it wasn't. I mean, we saw much better recoveries from kitten though, like that adaptation. Yes. Because I, I think after a few, we realized the you know, platform is just not quite. Yeah, especially not especially not only is it going to be hard to even get to that platform in the first place, especially because you're you're trying to go from a low angle, which means you're basically a giant hitbox for your opponent to hit while you're trying to travel up to that platform. Instead of trying to go down when you're recovering uh, from high up, where your opponent has to use the resources to try to get to you. Um, I'm hoping we can see more adaptation from Kitten into this third game on Fire Capital. Fire Capital. Still not too much help in terms of recovery here, but a little okay. bit more space to work with. Yes. Yeah, all these down specials coming out. Yeah. I think this is going to be a lot like game one, where you see a lot of those uh, play at a kind of a three-fourth stage. It's true, yeah. We saw it's like they have all this stage to work with, but you see him just kind of tussling in the corner. Yep. And let's see. Oh, going for okay. the duck. Okay, good tech. Yep. 
Get a little more, you see a little more confidence from Kitten with those. Yeah. Because you weren't seeing that game one. Yeah. Nice charge okay, there. Okay, go for the hard read. I, I dig it. Yeah, if Kitten okay, can do I like that. It. Go, for the, go for the jab. Don't extend your hurt box with a, with a move. You see that spacing though. Again. Waiting for yes. the down special and then coming out. Yeah. We do that a few okay. more times. Those are early stocks. It's been tw it's been twice thrice now that Kitten retreats under that platform and then goes for a charged aerial and it happens a fourth time. Four times basically in a row where Kitten goes, okay, I'm gonna go to the center stage. I'm gonna dash underneath this platform. You're going to try to fast fall on me. I'm gonna anti-air you. And what are you gonna do about it? And Nico didn't have an answer for it. Yeah, Miko is uh, just coming right back at Kitten and that aggressive, yeah. trying to land right in front of him. Um, you're going to get hit. <laughs> I, I'm su I was surprised because uh, Miko had shown earlier that they have um, a lot of patience um, compared to Kitten in the early matches. And I, I wonder if, like, you know, Miko spent all of their... Uh... Oh, wow. That, that was interesting. What? Interesting exchange okay. right there. What, did uh, not think Miko extendo. would hit. Um, that move is a war crime when you jump in with it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Trump's all, I guess. Mm, I, feel, I feel like Kitten's uh, advantage state could definitely be use some work because I feel like they kind of keep kind of just trying to do a move and then F smash. Um, yeah, you know, it's Kitten. You know, Kitten jumping around trying to kind of reset a little bit and set up for a yeah. smash, and it worked. I mean, it worked. The, the, the thing about rivals is that like. You don't need to do, you don't need to, like, in most situations, if you know what you're doing, you don't really need to, whenever you're going to hit, it's very rare that you uh, will immediately back off and try to go for a hard move with, Matt, with a with a smash attack or something like that. Mm -hmm. Usually, whatever hit you get, good uh, good up smash, mm -hmm. usually whatever hit you get, you can usually follow up with two or three hits um, on average, and then when you've thoroughly gotten your opponent scared because you've hit them six seven times in an advantage state and they're they've taken a bunch of percent that's when you pull back and you go for the hard read um if you want to go for that hard read, you don't have to okay good edge cancel okay anti-air dare i like it last stock here from both players catching you see a safe Ooh. recovery here Looks oh, okay here. drift back like it I like the drift back. I'm not a big fan of keeping uh, going back to that 45 degree angle every time, but that was a very smart drift back. Yep. Um, trying to keep me going on their toes. Raw up okay. the platform. Okay. I'm sure. I I want to talk about how Kitten uh, ran from one end of the stage to the other, doing absolutely nothing but just running away, and then, um, yeah. Now now the the, the script has kind of been flipped. Now I I see Kitten being a lot more, um. Wow. Much more patient, and I'm very surprised. Okay, Dare, good oh, tech. Oh, man, Kitten really wants this win. Yeah, they really want this. this. Is, Kitten needs it to stay alive. Stay yep. in the game. Good. That's wow. what you see. When you want to go to a platform like that, you go high. Yep. Good spacing, good spacing. And I think we're yep. just going to see one of these smashes. Yeah, I mean, yep. Kitten was hitting so many of those that Kitten knew just to fish, and, and we got it. Because Miko kind of just landed with the same timing every time. They don't try to... You know, double jump to stall or go to a platform or maybe wait like wait with an air dodge and then try to come down with an aerial they just kind of empty landed a lot of the time and, and then they just got smacked um but now we are seeing something a little bit interesting here in game four we're going back to forest floor with amico raster Oh, I didn't even catch that. Good call. Miko yes. character switch to Raster? Yes. Okay. For game four, confident Miko first couple games there, that, that shake up getting hit. Yes. I'm wondering the game plan is to kind of stay in the air more. You know, a lot of these smash attacks, a lot of this ground level play was really catching Miko off guard. And maybe yes. we're going to see. I, I, feel, I feel like Kitten found, like, found the linchpin and was like, oh, you, you do this every time? I'm going to punish this. And Miko was like, all right, now I have to, I feel like Miko wanted to switch because they got kind of got of a game to waste here. Um, obviously, you don't want your opponent to tie up with you in a game five scenario. Mm -hmm. But I think if Miko was to switch characters, this would be the best time to do it. Yep, so. for sure. I did. Kitten got comfortable with Zetter against yep. Miko's Zetter. 
And you know how, yeah. I mean, Kitten was very flustered that game one trying to adapt and, and feel out the character. Um, yep. So now, yeah, you're, you're exactly right. Perfect time to switch. Um, I wonder how Kitten is going to adapt to the new... Um... Okay, good first stock here from, from Miko getting the up air clap. And then I, I'm, I'm wondering, like, the difference slipstream works versus um, Zetter's Fireball and how that's going to affect the neutral game. Uh, good DI on the on the F-Mac. Slipstream, Basically perfect DI. Slipstream is a good kind of counter to the fire. Yes. It right uh, out, goes right through. I think it's 5% also. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really, it goes, it goes through. I thought it, tra I thought it would trade. Well, I I'm think not it sure. goes. I, I thought I just saw it go through. I'm actually not sure. I'm Let's not see sure either. Rest. I don't. I don't play either of these characters. Oh <laughs> man, good. good. Yeah, Kitten's oh, struggling he, to uh, adapt to this this aerial play. That was really smart. Because what Miko did is Kitten knew. Okay, I got hit last stock with up air up smash. I'm going to di for up smash. And Miko was like, all right, you know what? I know that they don't have the con like. Miko knew. Okay, I'm gonna mix up and do F smash this time. And, you know, sometimes you don't got that level of Yomi to feel it out. Ooh. Okay? Oh, I, I, I feel like that, I feel like that could have been an up tilt up air. I, I don't really feel like Kitten should have... That was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, keep going back to the well. Yep. I was beautiful. Yeah. You could tell. 130% yep. Kitten seeing red with that forward smash. And the yes. parry... It just that was a final cherry on top of that match, demonstrating yes, the, the mastery over the over the matchup and at least the player matchup. So yes, Miko, expect, no, and the adaptation as well because Miko kept getting hit by like getting caught with their landings with a charged F smash because they kept trying to land right on top of Kitten, and eventually they just they decided they they landed and they parry, and that's a really good option. Empty land parry is really good. So they get that they get that parry. Raster's got that absolutely terrifying um, confirm at a low level where you just run up and up be them and you tip her. And a lot of people don't really know how to handle the DI, especially if you get crossed up, even though it's reactable for, for the record, guys. You can react that with uh, with Drift DI and be mostly fine. Um, that was a that was a very good raster play. Um, it was it was good adaptation against Kitten Zetter, and it was obvious that Kitten was not ready for a character switch. Yeah.